So today I'm talking about a P0765 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. But so what is a P0765 code? Well, it's a shift solenoid D. And so what does this mean? Well, basically transmissions have a lot of solenoids built into them and the computer uses these solenoids to control the flow of the transmission fluid throughout the transmission, which then allows the transmission to shift gears at the right time and things along these lines. But when you get this P0765 code, the computer's seeing a problem with one of these solenoids, mainly with that shift solenoid D, and so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And one thing to note about this P0765 code is that sometimes it can be hard to diagnose and fix because all these solenoids can be located up inside the transmission. And to get to them usually requires draining the fluid, dropping the pan, different things like this. And so keep in mind that diagnosing a P0765 code can be kind of hard to do sometimes. And so what would be a possible cause of a P0765 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is low fluid, dirty fluid, or a clogged up transmission filter. If that fluid is low or really dirty or anything like this, then that's going to cause problems. So if possible, it's a good idea to go check the transmission fluid and be sure it's at the correct level. Many vehicles nowadays, they no longer let you check the transmission fluid. There won't be no dipstick. But if there is a dipstick and you can't check it, it's a good idea to go and check it and be sure it's at the correct level and that the fluid doesn't look really dirty or anything. Transmissions also have a filter built into them. And if that filter gets clogged up for any reason, then that can also cause problems. And so the first thing that could cause this is low fluid, dirty fluid, or a clogged up filter. And the next thing that could cause this is a bad shift solenoid D or the wiring going to the solenoid. And so there's some different ways to go about testing that solenoid and the wiring going to it. If you have a multimeter, you can't go and test it. You can't check it with ohms. You can look up what the rated ohms is supposed to be for that specific solenoid, since there will be differences. And then you see if it falls inside that range. And if it doesn't, if it goes outside that range, or you don't get no reading at all and it's open, then you know it's bad. If you do go to work on your vehicle, you will need to get diagrams, schematics, to know what's going on inside the wiring, and to know where that solenoid D is even located. Because again, there will be differences. You can also use a multimeter to test the wiring going to the solenoid. You could check and be sure that you're getting voltage going to the solenoid. Because keep in mind that if there's any kind of problem inside the wiring going to the solenoid, there's an open, a short, anything like that, then that's going to cause problems. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad shift solenoid D or the wiring going to it. And the next thing that could cause this is that something's failed inside the transmission that's stopping that shift solenoid D from working correctly. And so this is going to be something like a bad pump. There's a blocked up passage where the fluid needs to flow. It has a bad valve body, something along these lines. Basically, there might not be no problem with that shift solenoid D, but something's stopping it from working correctly. There's some kind of other transmission problem that's just stopping that solenoid from working. So the next thing on the list is going to be some kind of transmission failure. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And this isn't too common. Usually when you get a P0765 code, it's going to be something else. But it does happen sometimes. So it is possible that there's some kind of issue going on with the computer. And this is going to be like a bad transmission control module or a bad powertrain control module or something like that. But if you do think you have a bad computer, one thing to mention is be sure that your battery is good. If possible, even check what your alternator output is. Because all these computers, they need a good, stable power supply, or else you could throw them off and just cause them to do weird things. So if you do think you have a computer issue, be sure it's getting good power and a good ground. But the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0765 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.